You don't ever, ever do that girl voice again. It freaked me out. girls in this league. Here, look in the manual. What manual? You and I live here. We don't discriminate based on gender. I love that. <laughs> Oh, cute! Neck no necklaces. I'm obsessed with that bag. All right. I guess we'll start with a little note. Do note. And of course, it she writes down what they are. So we're gonna start off with some oh stickers. Oh my gosh! These are all gift. I did not have any. I did not know these were in here. Cute! I love those! <laughs> those are so cute! First things. Oh, cute! No idea this was in here. That's cool. And then obviously there's a couple other. Oh my gosh! It's got a little shine on it. And a little. Right. I love, <laughs> why do I love this bag? <laughs> All right, here's the first one. It's a little thing. Oh, it's a little thing from Wednesday. Wow, that's cool. 
That's legit. That is so cute. <laughs> Marco's just sitting here waiting. Alrighty, ready? Yep. What's next? Ooh. <laughs> cool, it's almost like hard to see. There we go, we gotta get in this light. Go ahead, skull. A little mushroom. A little mushroom. I like the color of that one. Yeah. No good. Pretty sure she said it was like a bloodstone because there's like little red splotches. This one doesn't have that much red in it, but some of the bigger ones that are made out of that has a little bit more red. Interesting. This is my one I was really looking forward to. Just a classic skull. Whoa. I know. Ooh, that's very trippy. You know, like when people have the phobia of holes? Yeah. That's what that makes me think of. Ooh, why is that kind of... I forgot about this one. Why is that kind of like triggering like me? Inside his teeth too. That's actually like kind of grossing me out. Like it's cool, but also grosses me out in yeah. a way. Mother Earth. It is Mother Earth. She's pretty. So we'll start with TJ Maxx, shall we? I got a nice, like, comfy blanket for $17, TJ Maxx. It's got these little roses and it's got these little skulls in the middle of the roses. Aren't those cute? And it's like very comfy. This might be an all year blanket for us. My purchase from TJ Maxx was not even for me, but the little coffee mug. So we get close it out and got a little ghost on it. And it was only like six bucks, wasn't it? Yeah, and then on the inside it says, <laughs> I boo what I want. And they had white ones and pink ones, but. Yeah, they had a bunch of ones with ghosts. Well, that kind of matches yeah. what we've been doing. So now we're gonna go to at home. I home has some really good stuff too. So first thing we got was this little bottle that says Moon Dust. And it's purple, it's got like a little witch's hat on the top. As soon as we saw someone else get this on YouTube, because we follow a lot of people who Halloween shop like early, and so we're kind of keeping up with what's going on out there. This was from At Home. It's kind of like a very Haunted Mansion. It reminds me of a Haunted Mansion. Like, I don't know what it is. It's like kind of like a mirror of like a ghost coming out of the mirror, I think. And it was only $17, but look how pretty this is. Very just, I don't know. It just gives me Haunted Mansion vibes, does it not? Yeah. It's yeah. good quality. It's not just like it a is really good quality. But Mario's looking at this toad. Well, a good witch can't be a good witch without a frog. <laughs> I think it's eight dollars. Yeah, eight dollars. Solid piece of like ceramic plaster. They had a whole, they had a whole bunch of these, and all of them together. Like a little frog army. Yeah, it reminded me of that scene from Practical Magic where they just dump all the toads out, like yeah. all the toads come out of the bag. <laughs> and of course, you know, at home if you've been, it is jar heaven right now if you're trying to collect uh, Halloween special stuff. Premium moth dust. Basically, the color on it. Yes, all gorgeous. the colors were very, just very Halloween. They had orange ones, which you already got me an orange jar. Yeah. But don't these like look really cute together? And you know Nightmare Before Christmas, just all the things that she puts the into The green one was the wing of a bat. Oh yeah, just like random. It reminds me of all the ingredients that Sally uses in Nightmare Before Christmas. They're like all of them, like seven, eight bucks. Yeah, eight, eight dollars. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you watched my last video, Will Lily got two others of these, uh, the orange and the red one. And so I had to get the purple one. And these were only three bucks. They have a whole bunch of these in just different colors. 
So, but I feel like, I don't know, we kind of went with the purples and the greens today. Out of home goods, I think we're almost done. Yeah, you wanna talk about Nightmare Before Christmas vibes in a character. <laughs> Look at that scary thing. It looks straight out of the movie. It's like one of the little ooh, it's holding, kids. It's holding a little, yeah, it's holding a little spider pet. <laughs> like instead of holding a, a balloon or a kite, he's walking around with a spider on a string. How much is that, dude? 13? I mean, that dude was yeah. $13. They had him in like a bigger size. Like they had a few of these like creepy characters in just different sizes. And I know we have one from last year. So we can maybe start collecting these these interesting little characters. This is so Will. And if you didn't know Martha Stewart had a Halloween line, now you know. It's a little dapper pumpkin here. Hand standing there. Other hands in his pocket. I mean, the socks have design on it. It looks like he's wearing little loafers or like wallabies from Clark's. Something like that. It's got a little bow tie on. It was still $20. I mean, it's definitely a higher quality Halloween decor item, I think. Speaking of the Nightmare Before Christmas, so we have two guest bathrooms in our house. One is Family of the Opera themed, and the other one, the smaller one, is all Tim Burton themed. So we have like Tim Burton inspired artwork in there. It's just all very, I mean, it's just, it's just Tim Burton. So we found, just a, a soap dispenser. Yeah, just a soap dispenser. Jack Skellington. A Halloween for us, Halloween decor is literally the time where we can buy our actual all year round decor too. Some of this stuff is just too cute to put up when Halloween's over. So I'm like putting it over your face. <laughs> putting this up? No, this is staying out all year. Oh, that was 10. This is seven, which is nice for all the details. Just a little pumpkin with like the Victorian kind of framing on the front and then the little spider with the web but yeah and this is very again just the details of the pumpkin it looks very realistic that's it, that's it. we <clears throat> we're halloween shopping in july that's the time to start doing it i still laugh that you complained that shopping wasn't as fun that they weren't playing halloween music oh my gosh yes <laughs> we were literally getting to the spirit of halloween and i said you know, it just doesn't feel like they're not playing Halloween music. Like, it's just not feeling, I'm not feeling the Halloween vibes. Like, I don't want to shop to Halloween music. And then Will, as we're in the Star, uh, Starbucks drive-thru, he was like, well, it is July. And then it, I, all of a sudden, a wave of realization came over me, like, it's still July. So, that's the only thing that's sad about shopping for Halloween stuff this early is... But the good thing is we found a whole bunch of cool stuff and it's July, so there's there's so much more. Yes, yeah, so we can keep getting more. But it is sad like when you come home with all the stuff, it's like, yes, Halloween, and it's still July. Mm -hmm.